Um, you can be really proud of that. It's a fantastic achievement. It's, I think if all the other players vote for you, that that means most to all players. So um, didn't speak to him after because he was in London obviously yesterday, but he will be back today and um, then I can tell him what I want to tell him. Um, Face to face, so it's it's great. But he knows, season is not finished so far. Huh? So uh, a lot of things to come, and but I'm sure it's a, a nice boost for him. Um, and I really have to say, in a season like this, when when Kevin De Bruyne plays a season like he played, uh, it makes it even more special. Um, I would say, if anybody else would have voted and not the players, then I think it's it's then it's different but the players know how difficult it is to score that many goals and to to be involved in that many goals so i really think it's well deserved yeah because given the importance of this game for the football club but also the sense of occasion that surrounds it as well what are you hoping for from the fans not just inside but also outside as well when they welcome the team this in particular i think that's pretty clear in the stadium do it again and better out of stadium please show the respect we have to show so we are um this is such a fantastic football club such an outstanding football family known for fantastic atmospheres all over the world so we don't need we don't need to to do um to throw whatever on the bus of the opponent team if we can do what we did creating an atmosphere even in front uh, before uh, in front of the stadium yeah let's do it i'm i'm a big fan of that but please um show the respect they deserve and we are only opponents on the pitch that's no no but we are opponents on the pitch of course that's uh, that's the game but um I really think that this wonderful city could show. Everybody knows how nice, how wonderful Rome is. Not all the people know how wonderful Liverpool is, but we can show how wonderful the Liverpool people are, and the city, and the spirit of the club, and all that stuff. And that we can show that in in 20 minutes before the game, and then the whole world knows it. And I really think that all the people um, who are with LFC deserve that. That we show that face. Yeah, how strange. Well, I think that's it's pretty normal in football. It happens constantly yeah, that where people, uh, players change change clubs and managers change clubs. Like, like I had it with Dortmund around about two years ago already. Um, it's actually a normal game, but yes, it feels quite special because you know much more about the other team than you usually know, and you are more interested in the other team than you are than you usually are because I'm pretty sure Mo follows the whole season of, of Rome. He had a fantastic time there. He became the player there which we have now here. The big big credit to all the staff and and uh, and, and the players at at, at Rome um, because they are all part of his development. So yes, it's strange, but in the end we are all professionals now and then um, it's going on and the good thing is in football I'm pretty sure the Italian f defenders are famous for for um, <laughs> not having friendly games. So I think Mo will, will feel pretty early in the game that they are not his teammates anymore and then he can strike back in a football way. That's it. Um, I wanted to know, first of all, um, whether you think there are any um, similarities be from a st tactical point of view between you and the um, Roma coach Di Francesco. And then I would like to know whether you would perhaps think one day of coming to uh, manage in Italy and whether you've ever been approached by an Italian club? <laughs> um, similarities. I think of the, the... I don't know if we have both wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bad shave, I think. It's not that bad, but... My, um, and. Yeah, similar way. Yeah, similar way to 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 the big clubs. I think he started with um, some smaller clubs and um, had their big success. That's how we had it actually. And um, but now, yeah, style of play. I don't know exactly. That's um, I don't want to talk too much about that. But it's uh, obviously uh, he loves football. That's obvious. And he has um, football playing side, build up good organization. I love that too. I think every manager loves that. 
Um, so yes, maybe there are a few similarities, but um, that doesn't make life easier for him or me tomorrow. That only means it will be difficult, and I knew that before already. Um, will I be? At I don't think that it makes sense for any Italian club to work with me together because I only can order spaghetti in a restaurant and that it's not enough, I think, to um, to be a manager of an Italian club. But I don't think about any. Um, I had to talk too often in the last few days or weeks about when I when I stop working because I don't even think about stop working, I only because people ask me. So um, we will see what happens. Eh? Que sera, sera. Um, and um, then, but not in the next four years for sure. Uh, some people name this uh, much as the underdog uh, encounter. Uh, if you would agree with that, and, and how uh, would you find? Would you find that the philosophy of Rome and Liverpool is somehow they are similar because they have to fight against other big clubs? to maintain, to retain players and be creative somehow to, to keep the competitiveness. What would you say? Yeah, I'm really not interested how people um, what people think about that game, I, but I can I, I do understand that um, probably a, a lot of people thought this semi-final would have been usually Barcelona against Manchester City, but it's not because it's football and um, Rome made it possible and we as well that we are now here I, mean, I think both teams deserve it it's really true and I came up the stairs at Manchester City and somebody told me that Rome won 3-0 I, I thought in the first second not possible because the opponent is Barcelona but I love that game because it is possible and um, we did something similar at, at City so they play an outstanding season but in these two games we deserved to win the leg and um, so now we, we play against each other and maybe our situation is, is, is similar I um, we have in the league yeah we have Juventus now Napoli we have here City United we have big big challenges big competitors of course but that's all not important because first of all it's important that we really can enjoy our own football because you can uh, at the end of the season there's only one team who can win it but sometimes um, but there's a lot it's a long season and our job is as well to show the best we can. And even if it's not the best of the league, we still have to show it. And that's what we try constantly. And now, But now we don't play the league, now we play the Champions League. And we still know that we had to win the last game of the last season against Middlesbrough, which is not a nice feeling. It's already a final. Then we were qualified. We celebrated it, by the way, like we were already qualified, but we weren't. We had to play against Hoffenheim, which was quite uncomfortable. And then, we won that as well. And then we started the, the journey. And now we are here. It's exactly the same like Rome. Um, we both have the chance to go to the final. And that's all I need. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. If people talk now about me, about pressure or whatever, uh, or um, once in a lifetime chance I heard before, that's not like that. Even I'm already, if I go to the finals a second time in my life, nobody would have thought that. So that's crazy enough. It's possible. And that's nice. And if it's possible, let's try everything to do it. And that's the way I like the way Rome did it. Obviously, they brought in a quite good sports director last year. <laughs> um, and they did, again, a fantastic job. So we're losing Emerson and, and Mo Salah is really, is really difficult. We lost Phil Coutinho. That's not, that's not a hobby. Eh? It does not even feel like fun. So it's quite difficult to find players like this. If you have them on a specific level, then you lose them. So we have really a similar situation. But we continued believing in ourselves. And Rome, obviously, the same. They changed manager. We didn't have to do that, at least. But um, that's, um, he's doing a, a brilliant job. And so they have all my respect. And if anybody thinks we two are um, the underdogs, who cares? We are in the semi-final and we can go to the final. That's all what, I'm, what I care about. Well, obviously, the fact of the matter is that Roma beat Barcelona, you beat Manchester City, so it's no coincidence, I think, that you're playing this, <laughs> this semi-final. Um, does your kind of like, view of Rome change um, in light of the two games against Barcelona? No. No, it, um, I saw... I watched quite a, a lot of Italian football, to be honest. It's, it's always really interesting and I saw um, the, uh, a few Roma games and it's, um, I, I've, I know Edin Dzeko from Germany. I liked him as a player, so I 
I like watching him, to be honest. So, and that's uh, as I'm not surprised. I'm, I was surprised that they, after the first result, that they can have that kind of comeback against Barcelona because it's pretty rare. But how I said, I love it. It's possible, and the quality in the in the team and the quality in the squad. So they could make eight, round about seven, eight changes for the last game and was quite comfortable um, uh, winning. So that's the uh, that's a fact. So. That's a big advantage for Rome, to be honest. What in, in the moment we don't, I don't care about advantages. We play at home. That's a big advantage as well. But they really have pretty much a full squad available, and that's that's good. Um, and all of them are good. So they have different options in offense. They, of course, Jacob, Clear, Schick, Una, El Jaravi, other players, Nangolan, uh, De Rossi, experience, defense, strong, wingers. Um, them, Wingbacks, strong, Paris, all of them, really, it all looked settled, it looked fit, it looked experienced. And obviously, for Rome, it's a big thing, semi-final, like it is for us. So that means we are not used to that. That's good. 